Christy. Hey Megan, what's up? Uh, nothing much, except I just moved into my new house today. What? New house? Megan, you can't afford a new house. Yeah, with our last house, my mom didn't pay the bills, so that's why I went into foreclosure. And for this house, we actually don't have to pay for it. Megan, as your friend, I have to tell you the truth. Right now, you're breaking the law because you have to pay for your house. Christy, don't jump to conclusions. The reason how we got this house is because our Uncle Bob said we could have this house for free as long as my mom has a job. And your Uncle Bob owns this house? Yep. And your mom actually has a job? Oh, Christy, you know what? Anyways, the reason why I'm calling is I was wondering if you wanted to, you know, come over and spend the night. Or maybe a better idea is if I go over to your house and spend the night. But, Megan, you just got this new house, which isn't infested with rat pee, mice, parasites, or lice. So, uh, don't you think that you'd rather me come over to your house so we can I can actually spend some time at your own house that you actually kind of own that isn't going to actually affect my health? Well, the reason I ask is because people in this neighborhood said that this house is haunted. Hello? Christy, are you there? Hello? Christy? Christy? Wait, I could still see her on the line. Hello? Christy? Ugh, Christy? Christy? Christy! Okay, that's it. I'm gonna hang up the phone if you don't answer. Megan, you seriously cannot believe that there are ghosts. Anyways, I'm just saying what the other people are saying about this house in the neighborhood. Anyways, can I sleep at your house? Megan, I already told you that you're not allowed over my house after the incident with you and your mom and everything else. So, it's either I come over your house or I'm not, no one's coming over anywhere. Fine, you can come over. I wanna come over tonight? Yeah, that sounds fine. I can come over tonight. Just gotta get some stuff together. Okay, I'll see you later, Christy. Bye. Bye, Megan. Oh, Mom! Hey, Megan. I heard your conversation. So what was it about? Oh, um, Christy said she can, uh, come over. Is that okay if she can spend the night? Sure. But you know, I don't really like her because of reasons. What are your reasons, Mom? Nothing, Megan. Anyways, just your baby mouth. I'm gonna go make some cuisine. <sighs> I guess I'll just wait for her, I guess. Well, I guess I'll just unpack before Christy comes. Megan! Huh? What? Mom? Mom? Ugh, why aren't people answering me today? Mom, you called? Huh, what? No, I didn't. Um, yeah, you did. Megan, does it look like I need you right now? I am baking beautiful, delicious pie. Mom, I'm not crazy. You called me down here. Why'd you call me down here? Megan, are you delusional? I knew I should have tested you. Mom! It's okay, Megan. Dementia runs in our family. I think I may have a bit too. No, Mom, I know you called for me. I mean, I even, the voice sounded just like you, Mom, and I know there's hardly many people in this world that will sound like you, Mom. That may be true, Megan, but you know what people are saying about this house? Just like yesterday, when I was trying to take a crap, I felt like something grabbed onto my butt cheek. Just having diarrhea like usual. No, Megan. Someone grabbed my bum cheeks. Mom? What, Megan? Where'd your sunglasses go? Megan, are you mentally insane? They're on my face. Mom, it's definitely not on your face. Then where is it, Megan? I don't know. I, I mean, it was just on you just a second ago. Um, Megan. Stop showing your bum cheeks to me and tell me what you're staring at. Mom, look. Dear gosh, Satan's in my house. Mom, it's not Satan, I, but it's just, I don't know. Um, No, I'm just gonna go upstairs and unpack some more. <sighs> There's no such thing as ghosts. No such thing as ghosts. Ghosts don't exist. Die, ghost, die! Get away from my maid! Mama, okay, it's just Christy. I knew she was a ghost. 
Are you guys seriously causing this huge huh. fuss over ghosts? Um, it's a serious topic. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna make us some food. Mrs. Cabbage, ghosts don't exist. Um, they do when your glasses fly off your face for no reason inside the house and a ghost grabs your bum cheeks while crapping on the toilet. Okay. Good day. It's been a long day, Christy, and weird things have been happening ever since we moved in this house. Well, I think that's probably why we got this house for free from Uncle Bob. I got everything I need. Sleeping bag, blankets, toothbrushes, oh, different okay. clothes. Um, I guess we could set it up in my new room. Um, okay. Show the way, Megan. Anyways, so welcome to my boat. Isn't it awesome? Yeah, Megan, I mean, it's not actually infested with mouse pee. I know, right? It is so cute, and I don't get to sleep in the attic anymore. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to call Child Protective Services? Christy, for the last time, I love my mom, and she is doing anything she can to make my life better. Okay, Megan. Well, um, what do you want to do now? Oh, sit in my comfy little couch that I just got yesterday. Oh, and gossip. Are you sure you don't want to talk about, like, something, like, more logical, like our science homework? No, that's boring. Well, it's not boring, but not right now. <sighs> All Come right. on, let's go! Um, well, sorry, Megan, but I don't really do well with this whole gossiping thing. I'm more about logic and science and physics and math, and so, uh, you might have to start. Okay, um, let me see. Hmm. How do they do it in the shows? Oh, I know! I have a crush on someone. Whoever could it be, Megan? You know Josh? Isn't he so cute? I mean, I guess so, but he's terrible at his homework. And he's terrible at logic, and he doesn't really put effort into his math homework either. Christy, you don't have to judge everyone just how smart they are. Some people aren't born with the amazingness of being smart. They aren't? Um, have you looked at my mom? Well, I thought she has, like, post-traumatic stress disorder, or, like, had some, like, you know, brain damage. <laughs> no! kit. Megan! What is two plus three? Answer me now! It's for my taxes! Oh, it's like one, two, three, four, five, five, five. Oh, it's five, Mom! Vincent! Love you, baby! Mwah. It's five, right, Christy? I mean, I don't want to give my mom. Yes, Megan, it's five. Anyway, so back to gossiping yesterday, he was like totally with this girl that was totally a butthole. I mean, come on. And she wasn't even that pretty anyways. Anyway, so she has blue eyes. And I have blue eyes. Megan, your teacup must have fallen. Or your mug. Oh, oh sure, Christy. Out of nothing, it decides to fall. You probably didn't put it in, you know, level enough on the table and There's then gravity no occurred and it was... This place doesn't have any earth... Megan, keep it down for the last time! Food is art, you know, and I need silence. But mom, it wasn't me, it was the ghost. Huh? Oh, well that, in that case. You ghost! I'm so sorry for my mother's behavior. I'm used to it, Megan. Thanks. <clears throat> okay, don't worry. Go to bed, Megan. Christy can fall asleep in this, and this isn't even her house. It's okay, just go to bed. Go to bed. <gasps> what is the noise? Christy! Come <laughs> on! I'm just trying to sleep. <gasps> <gasps> This is what I get in return for making you both two pies. Mom, it's two in the morning. Why would you come in our room right now? You scared the crap out of me. Uh, I just want to go back to bed, Megan. What do you think? It's only going to take five seconds to make two pies. I had to restart like seven times because I forgot. Oh, she's a Mexican. What, Mom? You don't make any sense. Ma uh, Mrs. Cabbage, I, I know this really doesn't matter, but I'm, I'm not Mexican. Well, I thought you were Mexican. What does that have to do with my diet, Mrs. Well, Cabbage? Well, don't you call it Mexican or something? You mean vegan? Yes, vegan. That's what I meant to say. Well, I had to restart it because you're a vegan, and then I had to restart it because you're gluten-free, whatever the heck that means, and then you are allergic to peanuts. Actually, I'm not allergic to peanuts. That's Megan. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, she also had all these other crap, like lactose intolerant crap. So I had to make it 
all that good stuff out of it. So here's your two pies, enjoy. Bon appetit. Here you go now, here's your two pies. Mom, where's the blueberries go off of that pie? And that wasn't red just a second ago. Whatever, just eat this pie. Oh, by the way, that's a sloppy Joe pie. He must have just ate off the crust and the ghost ate the blueberries. Knock yourself out. Mrs. Cabbage, I can't eat sloppy Joe pie. I'm vegan. Um, I'm sorry, but you must be madly mistaken. I made it with a vegan crust. Duh. Um, Mrs. Cabbage, vegan means I don't eat any animal products, which means I can't eat meat. I'm out. Mom, are you scared that the pie has just changed? I mean, like, it was tampered with the ghost, Mom! Christy, you saw that, right? I mean, now you can't say there's no ghost in this house I anymore. mean, Megan, I really wasn't paying attention to the pies. I just woke up, so... Well, it had blueberries, and the other one had a top. Megan, you're probably just tired, and... Tired?! Megan, there is no such thing oh as ghosts. Gosh. Oh my dog, I can't sleep anymore. Megan! That's it, Christy, I'm going to the bathroom. I'm not sure going to the bathroom is going to solve our problems. I'm just going to go back to bed. All done. I'm back, Christy. Mom! Keep it down! I'm trying to go to sleep! Mom, Christy's gone! I think it's the ghost again! What? You said ghosts. I'm going to catch that ghost and eat it. Mom, you can't eat ghosts. Ghosts are like air. Well, you breathe air in. So I'll breathe it in. Oh, she's right there. Megan, okay, hon, I think you are delusional. Dementia. Good night, hon. Don't call me again or you'll die. Man, what? What? We're gone. What? We're gone. Megan, disappeared. Megan, I was right here this entire time. No, you weren't. I was, I was. Megan, unless there's a logical explanation for things, I think we should both go to bed. Oh, I don't know. Dead people died in this house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they would... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Because, Megan, I don't think you realize how ridiculous this sounds. <sighs> I don't care, but it happened. Megan, if people die, they, their spirits do not hang around the house. Oh, well, have you ever heard of demons? Um, Megan, demons do not exist. Um, yeah, they do. Like, where? In the Bible. Well, they can exist in the Bible, Megan, but that doesn't mean that demons somehow get out of H.O.B. hockey sticks and come and haunt the living. Well, I say it does. I bet you have to read a book on it. Megan, none of those books actually exist, and if they do, they there's like no scientific backing behind them. I'm gonna sleep down here tonight. Oh, chicken nuggets. Hey, ghost, I know you're out somewhere. Just mark my words. If you touch my dumplings, I will be. Oh my gosh, my mom screamed again. Didn't you hear it? Megan, your mom screams all the time. Uh, not this much. Megan, just go to sleep. It'll be fine in the morning. Fine. Um, anyways, so wanna talk about something? No, Megan, I want to sleep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, how about Drake? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's really nice, right? Yeah, yeah, he really is. Megan, what are you doing? Don't you hear that sound? I'm trying to drown it out. Yes, I heard it, Megan. It's probably just the wind. I'm trying to drown it out. Megan, it's you a hear perfect... right? Yes, it's probably, it's probably your mom, Megan. It's a perfectly logical it explanation. It is not my mom. Well, Megan, it has to be, because it's not... Yes! Shut up! I can hear you guys moaning from the other room! It's not us, Mom! Megan? You are Megan. Christy! Ow! You're driving me nuts! Ow! You're gonna walk around with me. Megan, we're not walking around um, at 2.30 in the morning. You know why? Because you're gonna explain where that sound is coming from. If there's no logical pro, fine. Possibly. We'll find it. We'll find it, Megan. Fine. fine. Oh, they won't be quiet. Oh. Do you even 
got louder. Megan, it's probably coming from your fireplace. And you know like it's how they have a, even on. I know it doesn't need to be on. The wind's probably coming up from the rafters up there. It's bringing it down through the hole and it's creating a whistling sound. I don't hear it. It's from this way. Come on. Watch you go first. Oh my gosh, Megan. So where the sunglasses did a thing. Did a thing, Megan? It came off my mom's head and landed right behind us. I mean, it appeared right behind us. <sighs> Megan, it's probably coming from, I don't know, maybe your house is like having a settling problem. I don't think that's right. Megan, the lights go out. Well, maybe your mom decided <laughs> to turn Megan, where, where are you? Christy, Christy, <sighs> Christy, I'm losing my mind. Megan, I'm right here. Megan, listen to me. It's... Pr Megan? I can't see. Megan. I'm not a cat. Megan! What? It's probably because, one, your mom decided that it was 2.30 in the morning, so we should turn off the lights like normal people. And number two, it's supposed to be dark like she this in all the night. She can't control the lights down here. I don't know. Maybe, you're not, maybe your lights blew out. Why are your lights even on at this time anyways? I don't know. My mom doesn't like sleeping in the dark. And quite frankly, Look, I don't See, either. it stopped. Do you hear that? Stop. Goodness gracious, Megan. See, it stopped now. Wait, don't wait for me. No, Megan. See, Megan, I told you. Oh, told me what? That ghosts don't exist. Ghosts are clear, not like humans. Well, Megan, if they're clear, how are they able to control things? I don't know. They're like things, like, you know. Megan, I'm gonna go to bed now. Finally. What? I thought I saw something, but maybe you're right. Maybe it's just my imagination. See, I told you now. We can just all go to bed now. Christy! What, Megan? Great next to you. That's not me. Yes, it is you, Megan. Look, I'm right across from you. Megan, you're not right across from... Oh. <coughs> Mama's coming, babies! Ah, oh, you go, sorry! I thought a ghost is an intruder in your house, and we need to call the police! I got a gun! Hey, buddy. It's the end for you, ghost. Um, did you die yet? Um, this is getting a little awkward. <laughs> Megan, I looked around, where's your phone? I don't know, I left it upstairs, I think. What do you mean you left it upstairs? I mean, I left it <laughs> I love you, kids, but you're on your own now. <laughs> Mrs. Cabbage! I'm gonna all the money in the world, and if you want it, you can have it. Oh my gosh, I got like a three big accounts. I have a college fund. I have uh, my mom and my mom and dad have stocks. Before I die, Christy, I want to tell you: number one, I love you. Number two, I was right. You are not right. This is an intruder. This is gonna kill it. Those biggest, those clowns, those clowns are talking about the news. Yeah, this is it, and it's inside your house. Imagine oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Oh, jeez, Megan. I I'm Jenna. How's it going, guys? Oh, I didn't mean to scare you. It's just really hard for me to do a proper operation without having all this crap happen. So, um, oh my gosh, I told you guys talking about Josh and gossip, and I just totally wanted in. And, and you guys just like, totally seem to be down to earth. And it's like, it's been like forever since I talked to somebody. And so I was just like, oh my gosh, I have the opportunity to talk to somebody. Oh my gosh, Jenna, you should totally talk to him. I was like, yeah, Jenna. So, anyways, yeah, I was just um, like, it. are you a ghost? Yeah, totally. So sorry about that. It probably really freaked you out. Own, you got owned. Go sorry. Maybe she's not a ghost. She's probably a person. She's just telling you that so you don't call the police. Oh, well. Wow. Yeah, no. I, I feel really bad, guys. I mean, it seems like you're. it's really hard for you guys to take in, so I'm just going to go now. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, you'll have to see you tomorrow. I'll, you know, baby steps, guys. Baby steps. See you later, y'all. Oh, no. You're not going anywhere. I'm going to call the police, and you're going to get, like, five charges on misdemeanor, like, I don't even know right now, but you are so going to... What? I think I just peed. And I'm not ashamed of it. Hey guys, I'm back. I, I decided to go to the Halloween store to pass some time. Uh, sorry to abandon you, but I kind of had to for my own safety. Um, uh, yo. Guys, I got a clown wig, guys, um, so I could scare kids. Whoops. Hello, Megan, Christy. Well, I'm gonna pray back, Chris. Um, Megan? What, Mom? Did you just pee on my floor? Yeah. Oh, I knew I should've got you tested. 
bacon pancakes, bacon pancakes, put bacon in pudding. Oh, oh, oh gosh, who are you? Occupies, hi, I'm Jenna. Oh, thanks, I guess. By the way, I've been in the ghost in your house. 